Okay, we're going to talk about a uh, song form, an arrangement of chords that pops up in uh, lots of music. Uh, it is the 12 bar blues, uh, is what it's called, and it obviously pops up in a lot of blues music, uh, but it pops up in jazz a lot, it pops up in um, rock pop music, country, lots and lots. Uh, the only thing it doesn't really come up a lot in uh, for like Western type music is, um, and by Western I just mean like um, the Western Hemisphere um, of Earth, uh, is like classical music. It doesn't come up very often. Uh, the blues was uh, kind of an American art form, an, an American music form, uh, along with jazz that sort of started here in uh, mostly the U.S. and mostly down south. Uh, but anyway, so it's a more um, current type of music. But the 12 bar blues, uh, and there's lots of different uh, blues formats and things like that, but the most basic and most well-known one is called the 12-bar blues. And a bar is a measure of music. So if we're talking in 4-4 four, four time, then a uh, measure, a bar, is four beats long. So a 12-bar blues is made up of 12 four-beat measures or bars. And it usually follows a form if we put chords uh, into like a Roman numeral arrangement, which um, is really, uh, since, I, since I'm not writing it out, I'm not even going to use Roman numerals, uh, but the first chord in any key is the one chord, so they call it the one, the one chord. The, uh, then there's the second chord, the third chord, then the fourth chord, so first, second, third. Then the fourth chord is the four chord. And then the chord that comes after the four chord is the five chord. And then there's a six and a seven. And that's just sort of um, basic music theory. Uh, but anyway, so the 12 bar blues, the very simplest basic form of the 12 bar blues. And like I said, there's a lot of different varieties. But the very basic simplest one uses just the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. Okay, so it usually, the, the most basic one is uh, if we break it up into lines of four bars each line, four measures each line. So the first line being four measures long, four bars long, is the one chord, the one chord, the one chord and the one chord. So that whole first four measures is all the same chord. Then the next line is uh, the four chord, the four chord, then the one chord and the one chord again. So each of these is four beats long. Then the last line is uh, usually the five chord, the five chord, then the one chord, the one chord. But sometimes that last line um, has a little bit of variety to it. Okay, it could be the four, uh, it could be the five, then the four, then the one and the one. It could be the five, the four, the one, and then the last measure, the last bar, being like uh, something a little different called a turnaround that's just sort of like a little ending thing that leads back to the beginning of the 12 bars again. So the whole song is just 12 bars, 12 bars, 12 bars, 12 bars, through, you know, a dozen times or whatever, however long the song is. Okay, so sometimes the ending of the 12 bars can be what's called a turnaround. And uh, there's, like I said, all kinds of variety. But the most basic is if we do the 12, it's 
the one chord, the one chord, the one chord, the one chord. The four chord, the four chord, the one chord, the one chord. Then the five chord, the five chord, the one chord, the one chord. And that's 12. Okay, so if we used, uh, let's say, in the key of C. Okay, the one chord is C. The four chord uh, is F. And the five chord is G. Okay, so now if we do that, so I'm going to do, like I said, one, 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 then four, four, one, one, then five, five, one, one. So one, 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 four, four, one, one, five. And that's all there is to it. That is a 12 bar blues. How simple is that? Then of course, like I said, there's varieties. And not only varieties, there's so many varieties that it, it's literally, it's like endless what you can do with this simple basic form. Uh, what made me think of this for a lesson was <clears throat> to, uh, a week, this past week, so four or five days ago, I was talking to a student and um, he was trying to figure out a song and I said, oh, well, it's just, you know, this, it's this, this. I mean, it's really, it's just a 12 bar blues. And he's like, really? Like, wow, he, wow, you're right. Like, I never would have thought that that was a 12 bar blues, but you're so right. And of course I'm like, yeah, I'm always right. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Uh, but, so, I said, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And he said, like, what are some other signs? So I, oh, well, this one, this, and he's like, really? I'm like, and he, play, he was playing guitar, and he plays a little bit, and he's like, you're right, it is a 12, wow. So, it's like, and this is a kid that's been playing guitar for a long time, he's pretty good. And I was listing songs that he can play. He knows how to play them and never even realized that they were just a 12 bar blues because they were so different and so uh, sort of not your usual blues type of a thing that he just had no idea. So anyway, that is a 12 bar blues on a ukulele. I don't know how many uh, people really do a 12 bar blues on a ukulele, but it totally can't be done. And we're going to do one.